Hello everyone in Soul Talk. Um, so hi, I've been away for a little bit and uh, I just returned from an amazing week uh, spent in Chiang Mai in Thailand in a um, seven-day chakra awakening um, tantra retreat which was amazing. So I wanted to to share with you my experience during these seven days in case you are deciding to go uh, or in case you wonder how how these retreats work um, I had the most amazing experience you can ever imagine um, and yeah I, I, I think I, I think I went without really knowing what to expect so I was I was compel compelled by the fact that it was a Tantra retreat. And I thought, oh, Tantra, I mean, it's something that I've been, that I've been exploring for a while already and I, I wanted to learn more about it. However, this is a Tantra school, but this retreat was focused on the chakras, on the, on the seven chakras. And every day was, um, was based on, on the awakening of one chakra in particular. So uh, I think I think I would go back. I will go back for um, for a tantra specific retreat. Uh, so this tantra school in Chiang Mai, they do many retreats of all sorts, and this was in an ashram in in the hills of Chiang Mai. So it was it was such an amazing experience, and I can share with you some of the. Some of the things I have experienced there. So the first day I arrived, and um, I think I think I was dealing with a little bit of resistance. Resistance. Um, the first day and the second day, actually, the pollution in Chiang Mai was unbearable. Like it was so so bad that I was actually thinking, okay, maybe I should change my flight and go back home. What am I doing here? Uh, the pollution is terrible. I live in Hong Kong and I was trying to escape from the pollution and then suddenly Chiang Mai, it was terrible. So, yeah, I was, it, it was really, everything that happened, it was really meant to be because on the second day I was literally checking for the flights to change my flight back to Hong Kong and then uh, during lunch that day I was so down and, and like, what am I doing here? And I felt a sort of judgment arising, you know? I felt that I was judging the philosophy and the, and the teachers over there. And you know, when you, when you have done spiritual work for so many years, you, you, you have your own ways, right? And, and then it was, I felt resistant to the whole experience. So during that day, on the second day, I had the most amazing chat with a beautiful person. Uh, that she became a spiritual friend, so we sort of reunited uh, in this retreat, and um, uh, we we had the most amazing conversation about twin flames and 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 love and everything sort of shifted in that moment, and I was so into it, and I started to see people from such a different perspective and then started to really open up to this group of people about 35 people and all of us coming from all sorts of uh, backgrounds and 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 different parts of the world everybody from like different places and so much richness you know so it was really, uh, you know, it was it was looking to these strangers, total strangers, from a love perspective that I I, I haven't experienced before, you know, with uh, strangers. <laughs> so it was full full of love, a week full of love and full of um, heart opening moments and. So the teachers that we had, uh, they were extraordinary and so I think the whole awakening path is really peeling off layers of, uh, of 
knowing and unknowing it's it it's about um start and know what you have learned before and start unlearning what you have learned all these years and realize that you know very little and i think i think this retreat brought a lot of humility to me and a lot of um we can learn from each other so much from everybody so i'm so grateful that i did this retreat uh, the program was exceptional so every every morning we were waking up with yoga and then a meditation so the yoga and the meditation of the day they were basically uh, focused on one of the chakras and then we were having so two sessions of yoga two sessions of meditation and then two lectures during the day as well as an evening program right so this was the full day and then we were we were having also breaks in between so the ashram is the most gorgeous thing ever it's not luxurious but it's it has everything that you need um it's clean it's it's peaceful uh it's a such a like and spoiled energy in that place because it's not a risk it's not a resort i think they are trying to make it a resort eventually but it, there's no one there so this place is just for this this kind of retreats so the energy is so pure in that place it's so peaceful it's so um inspiring to be there really um and the fact of being able to experience all this with these people that you don't know but then you realize that you're all one, that we are all connected, that we are all dealing with the same things. And I was looking at many people um, really, really into this meditation path and spiritual path. And I have to say that in the beginning, I was sort of judging, you know, and I was like, come on, you, you don't need to meditate like the entire day. Like, don't you think that's a little bit too much? So I had that question in my mind. And then and then you understand that everybody's going through something different. Everybody needs something different. And it, it, it touched me something, something that I heard from one of, one of the people there. Um, he said, I really have a longing for the divine. So that really touched me, you know, because because we are all in search of something. We are all in search of ourselves. And some may do it with their eyes open, some may do it with their eyes closed. Some, some may need to retreat and just, just withdraw for people. And I felt it was such a beautiful experience and it was such a, such a deep deepness in everything we have done so much self-love you know because we everything we were doing the way we were eating the way we were treating each other the way we were respecting each other the way we were learning the way we were praying and and the exercises we have done for example the i think it's called the walk of angels so one of the nights uh we were really um we were doing these exercises at night, right? And so this 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 consists in uh, like a hall of people. So you just like a line, two lines of of people, like like a corridor, right? So you form a cor corridor, and then one by one, maybe walking through this hall, right? Closing your eyes, so the people that is walking in the middle closes his or her eyes, and you and the the people in the hall, they will sort of like touch you, touch your hair, and and give you like whisper small messages in your ears, like loving and and supportive, and they will carry you through this hall, right? And you are there with your eyes closed. It was the most unbelievable experience I've ever had. 
So walking through this hall with your eyes closed and surrendering to whatever whatever these people will provide to you, the support, the hugs, the love. Um, it was it was incredible. It was an incredible feeling. So some of them were like pouring in tears and, and because because we are so used to giving love all the time but we are not very used to receiving love so this was really letting go and and receiving all this amount of love from all these people that they were there supporting you no matter what without judging you and just being there for you right so that was incredible we also did eye gazing so this is uh, something very very powerful so you you look at each other's eyes for uh, like a long time and and you you see somebody else's soul so you connect with the soul of this other person that you never met before so it's it's something incredible you know it's about dropping any sort of judgment that you have and sometimes we we are so selective with the way we give love so it's like oh I'm I'm only giving love to my family, you know, to my friends, to my partner, to my kids. And this is giving love to every single person and and realizing that if you want love, you just have to give it out, right? You just have to give it to yourself and you have to give it to other people. That's that's the only way you will re you will be receiving love and you will eventually become love. So it was an incredible experience if you want any details so this is a tantra school in Chiang Mai and Blandine and Uriel they are the best teachers and they are so caring and and I think out of this week of course you take the things that that will serve you the most you don't necessarily need to follow everything that you have learned or you don't need necessarily to agree with everything that you have heard but it's it's a matter of being open and really taking in uh, the things that more resonate with you, right? So I cannot recommend it enough and I hope this is helpful for you if you ever planning a retreat somewhere in Thailand or anywhere else in the world. So anyway, thanks for listening and speak soon. Bye.